The inside endo starts with the gymnast beginning to pike as the body is already bailing over and keeping the shoulder angle as open as possible while the pike compression increases. Aiming to get the feet between the arms and the rail clear before the hips and the center of mass moves down lower than a horizontal line with the bar. Soon after achieving a full compression that is kept through the bottom and as long as possible. While when swinging up beyond the horizontal, the hips start to roll out and the arms perform a strong pull and wrist shift toward the vertical line to clear the legs off from in between the arms while the body is brought back to support, finishing with the hips opening to return to a handstand support. Check again the great deep pike compression this gymnast demonstrates when his inside endo is swinging through the bottom. Look now at some still frames of the previous example. The piking begins as the body bails beyond the vertical. The shoulder angle is kept open while the pike compression increases. The feet are starting to go through, and they have cleared the bar before the center mass is lower than the horizontal. Notice the deep pike compression already present at this point. At the hanging bottom, the legs are parallel to the floor in maximum compression, keeping as much compression as possible in the swing up. Wrist shift already executed and hips rolling out for the legs to clear the rail. The strong straight arms pull and wrist shift are bringing the gymnast to support while the hips continue to roll out. The legs have completely cleared the bar before reaching a full vertical support. With the arms on a vertical line, the gymnast continues to raise a full handstand. One of the main goals of the deep pike compression and hips roll out before the pike is open too much is to perform the skill without touching the feet on the bar 